Hey there, everybody, my name is Gideon Moore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 21, but this time around, franchise mode. We're going to start this new series, boys. I uh, am not going to do the Montreal Canadiens, even though I was very tempted to do it for this year, or at least for our first try on it. We're going to go for the Devils. I'm not going to put too much into it, boys. I think the Devils deserve a chance. They're not... Well, they're one of the worst teams, and I feel like they deserve a chance to get themselves together. Uh, we're going to play as them, uh, plus, there's my, plus there's my boy P.K. Subban in there, so why not, right? Uh, 83 overall, as you can see, so we're going to have a we have a long ways to go. We're basically the second, we're the third best worst team after the Kings, basically, in the league. So we should be struggling quite a bit, but we're going to be fine. Owner mode off. Salary cap off, trades on, player morale off, fog of war off, uh, head coach edit lines off. I'm going to do that myself. Uh, auto sign, nope, nope. I think we're good. We're good on that side, boys. Rules and settings. Let's take a look really quick. Uh, this is going to be one hour videos for these boys for the franchise mode for sure. Uh, three minutes. It doesn't really matter because I'm not really going to jump in that much. Uh, we're going to go uh, over here for that simulation. Injuries on. Fantasy off. Authentic cap penalties off. There we go. A franchise 25 years. Uh, trades sure. Difficulty superstar. I guess I'll put it on, uh, on semi-pro. I don't think it matters too much anyways. Uh, and NHL salary cap off draft out and tick uh, trade difficulty easy for me please uh, waivers off obviously accept relocation on but it doesn't really matter anyways um, auto scouting now auto scouting I think I'm going to put it to none or maybe both no I'm going to put it to both both boys let's do it both uh, okay, so let's go backwards now. Advanced settings. Let's take a look at the new stuff. So no full healed. Uh, let's get no full healed for this one. Sim engine scoring. Same thing as last year. Medium. Draft quality, high. Generated prospect quality, high. Obviously, we really wanted these things to get uh, high. Sim engine shot frequency. The amount of shots you get. Let's put it at medium. All right. Uh, playoff. Single knockout, a lot more interesting that way, boys. And uh, it gives us a little bit more chances to get uh, far further away in the uh, actual season. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for us. Gameplay sliders, we're going to go there. In their attribute effects, 8. Uh, game speed, 6. Uh, fatigue, fatigue doesn't matter to me. Uh, what I want to take a look at is injury occurrence. Injury occurrence, we're going to go ahead and put it at 20, boys. All right. Well, actually, no. Not at 20. No, that's right. Because we're not going to jump it. All right. So, 9. Absolutely 9. Yeah. 9 is perfect for us. That should be fine as it is. I think uh, that's perfect for us. Let's go ahead and jump in. Before we begin, I know there's two ways you can simulate. Uh, you can choose to simulate the game and everything. Uh, there's the chemistry way which uh, is mostly used, the chemistry is mostly used to build up or upgrade or grow your characters a lot, your players a lot faster during the season. And it's good for the simulation itself, you know, quick time simulation. When it comes down to real time simulation for the playoffs, it's dog shit, it doesn't matter. So what I'm thinking about is I might be just tempted to simply go for something simple, Something that I usually do, I'm not going to focus too much on the chemistry. I am going to take a look at it. If it's in the red, it's pretty bad, you know. But we're going to see. We got a seller, so we're willing to sell players. So we're going to, we're selling away we're, uh, our players, I guess. So that means our veterans, we're getting rid of our veterans, uh, guys. Uh, so that's interesting. That's how it's going to go. So since we're willing to sell players, we got to look at uh, the type of players we got. Also, we got the record book right here that they finally added for all the teams. It's just like Beer Pro. Uh, you got everything. You can take a look. All the teams, boys, NHL, 
right the stats and everything it's fantastic i love it and it should have been there way before but it's at least it's there now so first things first roster moves let's take a look uh there's probably some free agents we can take a look as well maybe uh you know uh see what we uh, we definitely need so uh we got barfist i barfist is a good player right he's one of our top ones well now he's a second so drafted in the second round he's a top six medium size i don't know if i'm gonna really do too much with him uh we'll see how it goes though okay so i can't uh put him back down and neither uh, can i for him okay so one two three and four we're obviously gonna need uh a depth four to uh, stick in the, the stay in the bench basically do nothing uh we do have jack hughes our high elite right our high elite player uh left wing we need a left wing right here oh my god yeah all right so left wing were weak so we might be tempted to look into the left wing thing uh position see what if we can upgrade that we got gusev brat wood uh we're gonna get Cini in here maybe or just do we have somebody that's like no we don't have anybody so i'm thinking uh which one of these two any one of these two could be good enough i guess uh, which one of these two has the best stats? I feel yeah, it's definitely Cini. I gotta put Cini in there, boys. So I guess he's the guy that uh, is gonna need to play. We're gonna put Aiden back in there. There we go, back in the minors. Right wing, we got two right wings only: Palmieri and Anderson. We're definitely a rebuilding team for sure right now. As you can see, trash ass team. Uh, Merkley. I guess and for now we're gonna have to get some of these one of these two guys uh, not too shabby I guess 69 I'm gonna get Zetterland, uh, Zetterland because he's the highest overall uh, potential and uh, for you Bachfist you're gonna go back into the minors all right definitely we're gonna need better teammates and everything I want to have a successful year even though we are a rebuilding team I know uh, I know we are that but I want to still have a successful year uh, we've got a uh, Subin, Severson, Severson, Butch, Butcher, Mueller. So that's four, uh, five, and six. We don't need Mermis. Uh, so Carrick and everything. Okay. Let me take a look really quick. Do we have a better player? Tennyson. All right. So Tennyson so far could be our backup, right? Our depth a defenseman for sure. Goalie wise, we got Blackwood and Schneider. Definitely some room for improvement, boys. So uh, definitely we need some defensemen. We need some defensemen big time, boys. So let, uh, we're going to try and get some defensemen from free agency. Uh, try and get definitely right wing. Uh, a right wing position, left wing. Basically everything. Everything except the center position. Center position, center position is the only thing that is working out for us right now. Uh, so let me ke keep that in mind uh, we need everything except centers okay so we need everything except centers uh, strategies I'm already going to modify them a little bit we're going to go aggressive to one to two red, uh, blue standard no uh, full attack we're going to go normal staggered sure actually collapse diamond yes umbrella strong st strong side yeah strong side for sure single swing and a close support we're gonna go overload overload um overload as well and as well overload all right so that's how it's gonna be for my nhl team as at least now it's time to take a look at these scouts a lot of micromanaging boys so i am not gonna need these guys anybody that's in there i'm gonna take a look really quick if they are any good at anything else uh he is good for ohl so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep him but i'm gonna assign him to the ohl really quick so that should be four people right there i don't know if that's enough seven yeah that's just uh, just about enough boys uh coaches wise so we got uh, tenel as a head coach generalist um he's good enough in the teaching why how much uh salary uh, how much years oh they've got um yeah okay so they've got uh some coaches that uh, we've got uh, only one year left on them 
Very interesting. 64 overall, so he's doing well with most people. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, associate coach, pretty good overall for all these coaches. I uh, We could have a better coach, uh, some better coaches for, especially for uh, AHL head coach is good. I, I still need, I need a, oh, my NHL goalie coach is garbage. Let's get rid of him and uh, we are going to go ahead and go after, we got plenty of money, so we can go after a good, like, a really good, like, um, co coach right here, boys. Like a, a goalie coach or something. There's got to be a, a goalie coach somewhere, right? Ah, there we did. That's a good one. Whitney's a good one. I'm going to put in him as coach. Uh, since he doesn't want to be a coach, that's the amount he wants. I'm going to give him uh, six. All right, I'm going to give him uh, six, uh, a little bit more, I guess. The same amount of years. And let's see if he accepts. I want him as a goalie coach. All right, I need a, uh, I need a, definitely needed a better goalie coach for this. So we're our con seller. Okay, so con seller means we're selling, but not too much. So we're kind of in a tweener uh, zone for that. Uh, we're going to go into propose, propose trade just because I want to see how many. Okay, so I got a little bit too many players here. And since I, I am going to need, since I am a seller, right? It says here I'm conservative seller. I need to go ahead and find uh, some teams that are willing to buy. Obviously, it says I sell. I need uh, I need buyers. Uh, I need to sell some uh, players that are really getting super old and stuff like that. Uh, players that I might need to just get plain rid of, right? So people like Street, for example, um, he needs to get out of here. It doesn't cost anything. Plus, he's very old, right? Uh, Tennyson, uh, Tennyson, I'm keeping him for uh, for now. Or do I need him? No, get, let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of Ten. Actually, no. I, I I need to keep him. I need to keep him, boys. All right, this might work. Let's see if it's gonna work. I'm actually gonna go for fourth round pick. Oh, uh, maybe not third round pick. I think it might be too much for the third round pick to ask, but we'll see. Rooney and Street. Uh, two players that don't matter too much. They've got uh, both one year left minor league deals. Uh, they're willing to buy their conservative buyers and they're going to refuse. So uh, th third round pick is a bit too much. I, I'm thinking a fifth round pick, a fifth and a sixth maybe. Fifth and a sixth is a bit too much. So maybe just a fifth. Fifth is a too much. Okay. I'm not going to ask too much. I'm not going to push too much. Seventh, uh, sixth uh, round pick. Too much. They don't want these two players. These two players, nobody wants them. And that might be the problem, boys. Yeah, even a seventh round pick is too much to ask. Uh, what if I give them something else? Uh, I don't know. Anything. Anything whatsoever. Do you have, like, do you need another player? Anything. What type of other player do you need, buddy? I, I mean, I'm willing to trade. Uh, maybe you want Aiden. I mean, he's, uh, he's a top nine. I'm willing to, oh, well, never mind. Um, maybe, okay, so maybe if I go, uh, just give them Aiden right there instead, uh, they might be willing to do something. Yeah, there we go. Okay, they're going to accept. All right. Uh, maybe overpaying, but that's, uh, that's fine. Overselling, I guess, but that's just fine because at least I, I'm clearing out some space right now. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm trying to clear out some space. I've got 46 on my roster. I think that should just be about enough, boys, so that I can... Go to free agency and take a look really quick. Is there any players right here? Yep. Bunch of players. Uh, these are RFAs, I believe, right? Yeah, these are RFAs. So Bar Bar Barzell and Patrick, I could go for them. But that would cost me quite a lot to actually try to go for them. So I'm not going to go crazy here. I'm going to go for UFAs. And uh, we all know that uh, the, the, the only thing we don't need right now. Uh, the, oh, shit. Hold on. How do you sort this up? Yeah, there we go. So the only thing we don't need is a center. We don't need centers, but we need er just about everything else. Doesn't look like there's anything really left, left wing wise. We're gonna let it go. Uh, right wing, there is Bobby Ryan, Grabner available. Could go for these guys. Defenseman, Buffalo Gun for sure. Now Buffalo Gun is an option and he doesn't cost anything, but he is 35 years of age, which means he's gonna drop. Uh, I don't care too much about the fact that he's going to drop, boys. There's no salary cap or anything, and he doesn't cost us anything. I'm thinking uh, keep him for the next five years. Why not? 
All right, keep him for the next five years. And we're going to pay him the big deal. We're going to pay him the big deal. Uh, four point. Actually, make sure that he wants to come with us. So 4.475. Why not? Five years, boys. It might be a, bit, a really bad deal. But it's fine by me. I mean, uh, for me, it's a good deal. I don't care. We're going to have a better defenseman anyways. So that's just fine by me. I think that should be great. And also... Um, just for currency wise, I think we should probably definitely get like a, a defenseman or something that can do the job. You do not want defensive defensemen are garbage. So that's the one thing you don't want. I want offensive and two way defensemen for sure. No defensive. So, uh, I'm going to go for Johnson right here. Well, actually I, I, I need to wait because I do need to see other players, other possibilities. Long this. For sure, I yeah, I would definitely want to go for long, long fist. He's gonna be a good yeah, a great uh, great goalie for us. So let's go for long fist, boys. Two years only, right? We're gonna wait until he's forty uh, years of age, and we're gonna try and convince as much as possible. So two point nine five for two years, and uh, last but not least, uh, we do yeah. I'm gonna try to get them both. They're both snipers. Should be just fine on that part so bobby ryan we're gonna get you for two years buddy at 2.4 uh, 25 2.425 all right and we're gonna get gramner over here for a three-year deal at uh 2.3 all right 2.3 uh 35 there we go it should be just enough uh good enough and uh that's what one two three i believe how much is that one two and three yeah uh three uh and four actually now that i think about it. yeah okay so that's four uh that should put it to 50. that means we gotta wait it out uh, see if they do join us or not uh, i'm gonna wait things out i don't care too much right now about the preseason preseason doesn't matter to me at all anyways uh, I did get uh, the some scouts signed. There you go. That's the scouts signing basically right now. That's perfect. Let's get everybody in there. There you go. I'm getting all sorts of scouts right here. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let them all come in. Reach out. Yeah. There we go. He's a goalie coach. So we got our goalie coach much better than previous one, which was a D minus. So that's a good. What about the players? We do have long fists. Bobby Ryan Gramner. All right, so uh, anything else? And we do have Buffalgun. Everybody joined. All right, we got everyone. We got everyone. Much better team already, boys. So let's take a look and um, try to help us out really quick. So we got these two guys. Much better than this. Uh, let me just go ahead and do that really quick. So uh, either Merkley or Anderson is getting out of there. Which one do I want to play? Well, I think I should play Merkley because obviously he's a top six. So yeah, I'm going to uh, get Anderson down there. And defense wise, we do have a Buffalo gun. Fantastic. Instead of Tennyson. And uh, anybody else? Yeah, I guess Cleason is going to be our main uh, backup, right? What do we have here that uh, could be good for us? anything at all like it needs to be there we go ben ben street there we go that's going to be our guy that uh, is going to replace the injury for the injuries and, and stuff our backup not a big guy but uh it's good enough i guess so that's that um now i'm ready to start on the line making boys so let's start to make the lines up really quick. Um, I'm going to make them and afterwards I'll show them to you boys. All right, this is what the lineups are going to look like this year, at least for the beginning of it, uh, the, the season. It's going to be Gusev with Ishiar and Palmieri boys. Brat with Hughes and uh, Bobby Ryan. We've got Sini with Zaka and Merkley. Wood, Zajac and Grabner. On the defense, we're going to have Buffalo against Sieberson. Subin Butcher, Mueller, and Carrick. And on the goalie side of things, I'm going to be having Longvis playing as the starter, obviously. And afterwards, McKenzie. Uh, or actually, which one is, uh, would be better as the starter? Because they're both set up to be starters. So 
not entirely sure which one is the best uh, options right here. I would say, so let me see, Vision and Poise. These uh, are the ones I want to look. So 86, 80, 85, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, Long Vist needs to be the top, man. All right, so uh, we got all of that done. So Playmaker, 2A4, 2A4, Sniper, Playmaker, Playmaker. We got a 2A4, Power Forward, 2A4, Sniper, 2A4, and a 2A4. Now the best of lineups, chemistry-wise though, pretty good, pretty decent. And over in the HL, this is what it's going to look like. I don't really have, we don't have any big prospects, right? The big prospects that we do have are already playing for our main team. So uh, we're going to have to be looking for big time rebuild, uh, looking to have more prospects and stuff like that, or just get players via free agency like we just did with Buffalgan, Longfist, all these veterans that can help us out right away. You know, so... I think we're just about ready to start it up. Uh, things I'm gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna we're gonna go straight into the f uh, beginning, right into the season. Uh, I am gonna am just I am just interested to see how we're gonna be simulating. I think we're gonna be uh, doing fine. I don't know if we're gonna be uh, making the playoffs the first year round. But uh, we'll have to see. The simulation is much quicker this year as well, as you can see. So, uh, very interesting. Here we go. We're going to start the first season finally, boys. Uh, start off with the first month. All right. We'll see how the first month goes. Uh, and if it doesn't go too well, we'll switch it off. Or maybe do some line changes or something. Uh, maybe a couple of trades. We'll see how it goes, really, boys. So, uh we got we're starting off with one and three so already uh you can see it's not we're not doing too bad uh, too good we're not doing too bad either there we go there's two wins in a row right here so three three i'm not hoping for too much out of my team boys because i know uh they're going to be struggling right off the bat so uh it's only normal for them to struggle per se we're three four and two right now so we're not doing too good definitely not we are losing in overtime and lo losses, two losses uh, in overtime and shootouts right there. So that might be something that we might want to look at. Maybe if we get yet those extra pants, uh, points, it could help us out. Uh, Jesper Pratt, doing pretty good right now. Our best player with seven points. And uh, let's take a look. Where are we at uh, already? Oh, there we go. It's very hard to see. We're eight points. Not last place, but we got long ways ahead to go. I don't know if we're going to make it, boys. I don't know if we're going to make it to the playoffs this year. Uh, we can't always turn it around. I mean, it's just the first month. Uh, but we'll have to see. So far, let's just take a look at our lineups, how our players have um, are doing. So minus five, two, and three. Wow, right. The minuses are pretty remarkable right here. As you can see, yeah, they're not doing too good together. I mean, it's a plus three, though. Over here, it's a plus three. So I would have thought, you know, that they would have been doing quite well. But maybe I'm mistaking. I don't know. I don't know, boys. Hey, that's pretty bad. The only lineup that's actually doing pretty good is these guys, the fourth line. I don't know, boys. What about Longvis? Oh, my God. Uh, Longvis is playing like dog shit. And McKenzie. So we're going to switch it off. McKenzie is going to be uh, starting uh, now. And Longvis, you're going to have to sit down. All right. We'll see if that changes anything. I don't think the goalie is going to change anything. But you you never know. Uh, we're going to skip another a month, boys. Uh, keep it going. I don't know uh, if there's truly anything we can do at this point. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, let's skip one game at a time right now. We win the first game. All right. So I might be tempted to just do that. I mean, uh, win games, right? We're, we're going to be winning games. So uh, switch goalies. Of every goalie, every time there's a goalie that wins a game, I keep him in the net. All right. Yeah, I'm going to keep him. Right now, it looks like Blackwood has the hot uh, pads. So I'm going to keep him on. Let's go, buddy. I'll see if we can win with you. I'm going to go with the winning goalie. Yeah, there we go. We won another game. I'm going with the winning goalie, boys. Uh, that's as simple as that. Uh, if Blackwood's going to start winning more game, uh, he's going to start uh, playing better than uh, Longvis, I'm going to play him. 
All right, Blackwood might be the guy, might be the, the one that makes the difference. So let's see, against the Penguins, boys. An overtime loss, not uh, Blackwood's fault though. It gave up three goals, but we did get a point out of that. But since we lost, uh, let's see really quickly. Yeah, we did go back up because of that. Uh, we're gonna go back with uh, Longvist. Where I'm really, I wanna, I wanna see if there's any of the ref difference whatsoever between uh, those two goalies. Is there one better than the other? Longvist started pretty bad. Uh, we'll see if it makes any difference. He did win us. Oh, yeah, that's a big win by us. Big time producing game as well. Yeah, I like that. I like seeing that, boys. So let's keep it moving. I do want Longvis again. We're gonna Every time we're going to just jump in, make sure that Longvis is the one in the net. Yeah, he is. All right, let's skip, uh, let's skip the one out. Advance the day. Please tell me you're going to... Yeah, there we go. There's another win. Yeah, I'm going to go with the hot goaltender. The one that wins me the games is the one that's going to be in the net. They're both... It's going to be a good, a healthy competition between a competition bef between these two. And we're winning games. That's all that matters to me. All right? So, uh, as long as we win games, I'm fine with that. He's coming back up. He's trying to uh, be a little bit better, boy. So, uh, maybe we can uh, we can do something uh, pretty good. We are giving up uh, quite a good amount of goals per game, though. Uh, that's one thing, yeah. Um, at least two or... It's minimum two or three goals per game that we're giving. So, that's quite a lot. I mean, we're not going to score... Uh, three goals not with the team we have per game it's going to be pretty tough to do that every time uh, let's see really quick so we're at 15 uh games let's keep it moving uh we lost the previous game so now it's it's time for blackwood is his chance to make his mark right here oh he's already in the net all right so the game already knew uh that's what i who i wanted to go for uh there we go there we go so blackwood won a, uh, won a game for us there you go there's a win for blackwood boys i'm going for the wins the winning goaltender is the one going uh, going for it. Let's go, Blackwood. You're going back in. Win me some games, buddy. We me, we win me some game. G huge game against the uh, Flyers. We lose it three to two again. Uh, close games that we're losing here. I mean, we're starting to be a little bit better, and uh, we're kind of in the wild card spot right now. But that's not enough. I'm kind of scared, boys. Kind of scared. Guzef is has a minor injury. Uh, I think he should be fine. It's not. Uh, he, it's not going to be too much trouble for us. Hopefully, he doesn't get injured for real. Because I don't have any players per se. Uh, I don't want Street to get in there. Yeah, that's a bit okay. Yeah, we're struggling. So that's another loss right there. I don't know what to do. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the two other days. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the goalie. Well, it might have because right now it's two losses in a row for Longvis. God damn it. Come on, Longvis. Last game against Montreal. Let's see really quick. Win the game. There we go. We win against Montreal at least. At least there's, uh, there's teams that are doing much worse than us. I mean, look at the Islanders. Only three wins, 16 losses. That's a big yikes for them. So 20, uh, within 20 games played for us, uh, we're kind of in the wildcard spot. We're struggling to keep it up, though. And later on in this season, it's going to become a lot tougher. So if we want to stick in there, or at least have a chance, we need to make uh, some some changes here, boys. So, All right, goals forward per game. Where are we at in terms of that? Uh, can I... There we go. Uh, simulate that. So where are we at? Fifth best game. Uh, fifth best team for goals for. So we are scoring goals. It's not too bad. We're in the we're kind of a tweener zone for that uh, for the goals for goals against per game. Uh, we're actually one of the best best ones of our team uh, of our team. So I think we're doing good. I mean, it's just we're allowing more goals than uh, we're scoring, but um, either way, we're doing fine. I what's the main thing right here? I feel like. Tweener zone really for power plays, so that's fine at, as well. Pl penalty kill, penalty kill is good as well. Yeah, I don't know, boys. I don't know what to think. I think it just comes down to the players we have. I think it just comes down to that because overall we're doing all right. Uh, overall, the stats. If we take a look at our players, it might be individual stats. 
it's just because we've got a bunch of young players and stuff like that they're struggling a little bit uh each year only has seven points in 20 games played not good not good at all so he's a two-way four maybe i need to pair i i think i'm gonna need to pair some people up the proper way then i think that's how it's gonna have to work boys unfortunately i might have to do that so top nine uh we got two top nines right here so these guys are kind of the same it's uh, it's two playmakers it doesn't matter let's keep guzef in here with a two-way four they need a sniper in there i got two snipers available uh we've got gramner and bobby ryan so bobby ryan uh 15 go 15 points seven goals he's doing his thing i mean he's doing all right uh i'm thinking i should probably put him in there so we're gonna try it out like that all right so we got the sniper in there and uh two way forward playmakers uh two playmakers nope it's not gonna work so we're gonna need uh, a sniper in there there we go there's another sniper gramner you're gonna get in there uh even though you are like a top nine yeah i don't i don't know boys i feel like we had the good thing going i just don't know what to say really it's like uh, I feel like we're doing okay. The defenseman pairs are doing just fine, except for this one. It's not doing good. So yeah, I don't know what to change really. It's not like I can read through trades. I could do try and do some trades, but what good would that be, right? It wouldn't really help us out that much. A blackwood is definitely better than long vest. I think I just want to keep uh, blackwood in there. I think uh, Blackwood needs to be my main goalie uh, for sure, boys, because he's the one playing better overall. So he's the one giving me wins. Uh, I, I'm just not sure how to do things properly. I think uh, maybe not going overload for my strategies might help. Uh, uh, it seems like Umbrella and Diamond is working out for my special units. So let me see really quick. Maybe... It's two two-way forwards and a playmaker. So I'm thinking behind the net would be the best option for these three guys then. Yeah, behind the net for these. Uh, playmaker. So this is definitely overload. Behind the net, overload. Uh, and this would... They have a power forward in here. So maybe we got two two-way forwards. Yeah, it's still going to be behind the net though. I'm going to try crash the net for this one. So behind overload crash and over here would be definitely behind the net as well all right let's try that out boys let's try that that technique maybe that's gonna work all right we're gonna switch uh, switch it out for the strategies a little bit so you're gonna go behind the net you're gonna go over you're gonna stick uh, stick to overload and also by the way shoot a little bit more right here and uh you are gonna be crash and you are going to be behind the net and you're going to yeah i need them to shoot a little bit more often there's a reason why they don't score uh as often they need to uh they need to shoot the puck you know so uh, stuff are going to happen if you don't shoot the puck nothing's going to happen we're going to switch it off from full attack to aggressive maybe uh defense is going to take some chances but may at least we're going to be a little bit better in that per, uh, in defensive zone uh, I might be able to, what if I, what do I do? What do we do here? The team is that they're most aggressive. Let's try high pressure. Maybe that's going to work. I don't know. I'll try high pressure. If that doesn't work, if we give up too many goals right there, uh, then I'll switch it off, boys. How is it going for my actual um, AHL team? I do need to take a look at them as well. I think, uh, yeah, they're doing just fine. The first line is doing just fine, boys. Uh, producing this is great for Bachfist because he's gonna get to grow because of that. Uh, okay, so my two uh, the third line and fourth line not so much, but uh, overall I think they're doing okay. I don't know what what it is with some. Uh, I always have one goalie that's doing pretty well, the other goalie not so much. So uh, you gotta just figure out which goalie is the best one to uh, to equip at that time, I guess. So let's get uh, get this done with. Get it done with. We lost the game. Damn. Keep losing games, boys. Keep losing games. Uh, let's go into calendar to make it a bit quicker. 
a simulation that is so one two three four and five let's let's go uh let's end the month uh, the month right here see where we're at after the end of the month uh, that's another loss right there we lo we won against tempo bay and we won yeah, there we go so we're getting some overtime wins right here so that's a bonus point right there uh, that's huge bonuses uh, bonus points for us right there definitely huge for us so that's that's fantastic where are we at still uh fighting for the wild card uh spot which uh we're in a good spot right now we just need to work uh, continue to work a little bit better we're ten, four and six in our last 10 games uh let's keep it going i want to have a good consensus at uh what our team really looks like so we're at 24 games played so 25 6 7 8 9 and 10 so we're gonna all do, uh, go all the way up to the nashville predators game that's gonna make it to 30 games played uh, and afterwards uh, we'll make a choice or decision depending on what we have to do boys so there's a finally a win after two losses in a row we really need to stay above 500 for sure uh there we go there's three wins in a row that's what i like to see so we're starting to maybe have a winning streak there we got a winning streak going on boys four wins in a row that's what i like to see so after 30 games played uh we are out there 33 uh points but see it's gonna be tough the water cult spot is gonna be tough because the senators and then in toronto other one toronto are both gonna do very good so we really need to focus uh, our best player is still brat yes for brat 26 points 11 goals he's doing uh he's having a great season uh let's take a look at our teams uh our players so guzef yeah this team is just this i don't know this lineup is just not doing good it's just this lineup in total is not doing good i need to switch a lot i need to switch these guys up i don't know why but they just don't work together i don't know what to do this line is doing well this line is doing very well boys so I, I figured the right thing right here I've got the right mind, uh, the minds thing for this. Yeah, definitely the right stuff. So I think it's just the strategies overall. I gotta switch it off maybe. So behind the net's not working for them. I don't think so, at least. No, it's not working. So I'm gonna try crash. Overall wasn't working, behind wasn't working. We're gonna have to do crash the net for these guys. And over here, overload is working just fine. How's it going over here? wow all right crash the net does not work for them um i think we're gonna have to go behind the net for these and these guys it's perfect perfect it's working out for them all right so these guys are working so we got to go behind the net for the third line and behind the net for the second line uh, first line as well i have to try that out uh, as well boys okay uh, Blackwood's doing fine. I don't know about uh, Longfist. I'm kind of disappointed in him. He's having a, a tough season, boys. He's not having a good one. Disappointing season so far by uh, by our guy right here. I don't know. Maybe um, we uh, I did wrong to go after him. I don't know, boys. I, I thought he would be great and all. So let's go into strategies. Switch it off. Right, we're working our, with our strategies right here, boys. Uh, we're already at behind the net, so okay, it wasn't working. So we gotta, yeah, it's crash the net. We gotta try out. And the third line crash the net wasn't working, so it's behind the net. We gotta uh, do okay. I don't, I don't remember where we were ex uh, actually, but uh, I think we kind of say stayed the same for goals four. We're moving up actually. We're scoring more goals, so that's good. Uh, goal wise, are we giving up more goals? We are giving up more goals a little bit so i think defensive wise we do not want high pressure is not good high pressure is not good so i think what we want to do is go the opposite way i guess i know uh, so what about the rest power play uh power play is doing better than it was so it's going up and pen oh, hold on penalty kill please uh, it won't do it Come on, come on. Penalty kill. We got the second best penalty kill of our division. Penalty kill is doing great. So I think we're doing all right. I think the right mindset to go for then would definitely be to, I guess, right here. Go edit strategies again. And this time around, 
offensive pressure. Um, I feel like we're in a good spot right now. Offensive wise, we're moving up. So I want to keep it at aggressive and high pressure. Absolutely not. So I think I, we, need, we need to do contain the puck. We're going to try that one out instead. See if that works out. So simulate another 10 games. And after the other 10 games, then we're going to stop it, boys. Uh, take a look at our team completely and see if we need to make any trades. It's going to be at the mid of uh, mid season, basically. So two, four, uh, six, eight, and ten. I love how the simulation goes so fast this year too. It can really go super fast. There's a the winning streak continues, boys. I love seeing that. Uh, just ended as I said that though. There's two losses in a row. Uh, can we win against Ottawa? We can. There we go. We win. There's another win against Columbus. It seems like we're scoring more goals now and we're allowing less uh, goals. I might have found the right strategies. I think I might have found the right strategies. We do have an injury though, right as we were starting to do good. Uh, Connor Carrick is going to get injured. It's our sixth defenseman. So it's not going to be too much of an impact at least. I'm going to uh, replace him with Cleason. Now Cleason, what is he? He's a defensive, the two defensive defensemen working together. I don't have a choice but to play him anyways. It's not like I have any other choice, so you're going to have to play there anyways. Uh, hopefully it doesn't hurt too much of our, t uh, our team. Ty Smith got injured in the minors. So Ty Smith, uh, a defenseman as well. So another defenseman, or one of our, probably our best defensemen got injured. That's not too good. Uh, let's replace him with, I guess, uh, Carlton White. There we go, boys. So he's going to go ahead and not go there. Or is he? No, we're gonna, we'll keep him here. We'll keep him here. Why not? Uh, fantastic. So that's that. Hopefully they come back from their injuries soon enough. And there's a win 7-1 to one against Arizona. So I think I figured out the strategy, boys. I think it was this really the strategies you got to tweak them out and it works better out for us so yeah we're definitely now we're above we're in a playoff position boys so that's fantastic for us 21 15 and 4 we turned it around big time in the last 10 games i like seeing that quite a lot uh if we take a look at our team stats now we were at 277 so we got to remember that 277 and now we're at three goals per game. Oh, I turned it up, boys. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've got the right strategy for the offensive uh, side of it of things. Uh, we're one of the best teams for offensive-wise. Def oh, shit. Defensive-wise, goals against per game, way down. So that's perfect. It was uh, around the 300. It was in the 300 mark uh, or the three marks. Now it's 2.8. Fantastic. So uh, it was definitely go. I had to go down in the strategies, not go up. That's perfect. I did the right thing, boys. Uh, power play is going down. So power play is, is kind of the same. So there's not a lot you can change. I can probably switch it up, though. I can try to switch it up, uh, see if anything can change. I'm going to try to move him up. Maybe go a little bit more aggressive, large box or something like that. Uh, or instead of umbrella, maybe going overload. I'm not sure, boys. Penalty kill. I've got the penal best penalty kill in the game uh, or right now. So fantastic. So we got the best penalty kill. It's just a power play. Maybe some tweaks for it here and there. So let's take a look. Maybe we can switch it off. It's just a power play, I guess. Umbrella's not. It's working fine. Uh, so we got to figure out which one of these two is going to be the one that's going to really uh, help us out. We're going to try shooting. We're going to try with the shooting uh, objective. Maybe that's going to work. So let's go into edit line. See how our players are playing right now uh, with the new strategies. Yeah, there we go. Our first line is working. See, you just need to tweak your little strategies a little bit. You don't need to worry about... Yeah, chemistry is, chemistry is important in the game. But not as important as editing the strategies. Editing the strategies is really important. That's what you want to look at the most. So the first line's working. Second line's working. Uh, third line is still not working. You're always going to... Fourth line's working. So 
as as long as you got three out of four of your lines that are working you're going to be doing fine i feel you like you always have to have that one line up that is going to struggle and it turns out it's going to be that third line uh which is fine i guess um they're they're struggling by a lot too it's not like it's a little bit it's really a lot they're they really don't like each other i could probably switch it off between these two like i can probably uh play wood instead of Cini. see if that works out any better we're gonna try that one out maybe that works any better boys uh buffalgan and severson are playing very well together uh same thing for butcher and subin are doing just fine the turp defensive line parent line right now uh not too good right uh there's the thing is a defensive defenseman that's why he's doing so bad i don't want defensive defensemen i might be tempted to trade one of them carrick is back so let's bring him back as well uh while uh, while we're at it so let's bring carrick back in there uh, there's a two-way defenseman already you can see it's not red anymore i think offensive defenseman is always gonna hurt us so Mueller, we gotta find a way to get rid of him completely all right so i'll figure some trades out maybe uh some things that we can uh, tweak uh maybe we can take a look at the points where are we at in terms of points for ishiar and jack hughes our best score is going to be right now we're having a tough time there we go uh, Bobby Ryan is our best scorer. Uh, there we go, boys. Having a resurgency for him. Uh, we got 33 points for Brat. Jack Hughes and Ishiar as well up in there. Uh, they need to produce a little bit more, but they're just starting to get back in there. They were struggling at the beginning because of the strategy. So I think we're doing just fine. What about the goalie-wise? Uh, Longvis is starting to play better, obviously, because the players in front of him are better. So, yeah, I think we're doing fine, boys. Uh, I'll leave it for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.